Ralph Davis writes, Hi, Lynn, how you doing? Question for you. Now that the Cubs are crumbling faster than Wrigley Field this year and they have no one to blame other than themselves, not a multi-million dollar shortstop who made a crucial error or a multi-million dollar pitcher who served up batting practice for an inning or a multi-million outfielder who had to have a temper tantrum on the field, the whole year was blamed on a poor hapless fan who was just trying to get a souvenir on a ball that would not have been caught anyway. Imagine this headline, Mayor Daly closes Wrigley Field for remainder of season until repairs are made, scrubs to play, remaining home games at Comiskey Park. Do you think all the the unemployed boozers and rich yuppies will actually travel to the south side to sit in spacious seating with lots of close by parking and a beer you can actually drink without getting a headache not to mention the fact they won't have to pay $50 for parking or will the Cubs do everyone a favor and quit playing the remainder of the season at least they can blame the ballpark not a fan or a goat or whatever else excuse they need for being winless the past 50 years sorry about the rant the question is have you given any thought to this year's obituary your fan always win or lose with no excuses. Ralph Davis, rock on WXRT. Well, Ralph, thanks for listening. First of all, let me say, I am now and always have been against chunks of concrete falling on people at ball games, even if the Tribune Company believes that this is their grassroots effort to begin the mercy killing of Chicago Cub fans. You ask a lot of questions. How am I doing? There's a good one. Not enough people ask that question and really mean it. How am I doing? Well, I just got back from vacation on an island in North Ontario. There is a town in North Ontario. Now I know why all Neil Young's changes were there. Oh, my changes were there. A cabin on an island, a tiny island. In a word, remote, distant, as far away from the thundering hooves of baseball apocalypse as a person could be. How am I doing? A Cardinal fan, tragically related to me, of course, through marriage, called me last Tuesday from Wrigley Field and told me the Cubs were winning 8-2 to two in the second inning. Do you put that one in the win column and move on with your vacation? No, because some sadist had installed a TV with a satellite dish, so after the swimming and tubing and tequila gimlets were over, a bleary-eyed vacationer like me from Chicago could check Channel 403 and see, for example, that someone in Canada messed up the final score because it showed the Cubs losing that same game 12-9. to As to your other questions, will unemployed boozers travel to the south side to watch a relocated Cubs team? Ralph, last time I checked the unemployed boozer parking lot at U.S. Cellular Field, was pretty full. Ralph, the real question is not about obituaries or whether the Cubs will quit or about who has the best parking lot or even about the beer. It's never the beer that gives you the headaches, it's how many you've had. Do you have any plans for after graduation? Me? I'm gonna drink a lot of beer and stay out all night. The real question is what you, Ralph Davis, are doing composing emails about the Cubs at 1.50 in the morning. Ralph, that's 10 minutes to 2, and I can tell that you didn't proofread. At 10 to 2 a.m., you could be getting last call, you could be sleeping, you could be falling in love with someone you met just before last call. You have options. Our world counters misery and tragedy by its unlimited possibilities. Is this the prison you're building for yourself? In those late night throws of simmering imagination, the time of night, we can picture Dylan Thomas composing and death shall have no dominion. Oh, they be mad and dead as nails, heads of the characters hammer through daisies. Break in the sun till the sun breaks down, and death shall have no dominion. Or Van Morrison writing Astral Weeks. In the most private hours, you are compelled to wonder at the unblinking blind stare of the Chicago baseball fan. Pull yourself together, man. Take it from me. I was in a foreign country on a tiny island in the wilderness, and I had the strength and healthy resolve not to watch that stupid team play baseball. You like baseball? I just... You know, check the scores. Oh, I'm not obsessed with it or anything. This is Lynn's bin on 93XRT.